Before starting this video, I need to mention that this does get a bit messy. I was documenting the final moments of Pokemon 3DS games online, and it did not go perfectly. I initially thought that the servers would shut down at 4pm PST, and it ended up being 5pm. Because of that, I recorded for over an hour and a half, and my phone storage actually got completely full. I deleted footage so that I could keep recording, but I only deleted footage that would have been scrapped anyway. The final few hours of the 3DS shutdown were a lot different than I anticipated, and you'll see later on. Oh, and one more thing, I'll make a video in the future when it's possible to go online again with custom servers, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys in advance for watching, and come enjoy these final moments with me. At the time I'm recording this video, there are less than 15 minutes of online play for 3DS games. Right now, I can go right here and connect to the internet in-game, and this is something that will literally just not be possible in 15 minutes. Connecting to the internet, please wait a moment. Boom, successfully connected to the internet, you can see every one of my friends list appearing right there. Hey, we got a nice thank you, Victor, whoever gave me that. Anyway, there are a couple things I want to do right now before the servers are shut down forever because it's going to be too late really soon. Anyway, right now we're going to first fly to Killoud City because that's where the Friend Safari is. If you travel right here to the bottom of the map, you can see up there Friend Safari. That's an online function. We're here and let's go up to this lady because I just got some new friends list on my 3DS today and we're going to see. Please choose the Friend Safari you want to go on and I think it, yeah, it pops up on the bottom screen. First, I'm going to go over to John Stone, which is a YouTuber. You may have heard of him before. He has a normal type friend safari there are three missing pokemon because i don't know what they are have a nice time you bet i will because this is literally the last time i could ever do this it's so sad here we go puts you into this grassy area where you could find pokemon that i'm pretty sure you cannot commonly find in the region let's see what the first one is a Teddy Ursa, cool. We got a Teddy Ursa, and now we actually have an Eevee. That is an amazing friend safari option. I'm pretty sure if you guys had friends on your friend list already, it's not too late to come in here and do this. Come on, be the last one. Minchino, there we go. The next thing I want to do that you guys know I absolutely have to do is check out a Wonder Trade and the GTS. Okay, we're here in the GTS, and if you guys saw my video in the past, I checked out a lot of Pokemon in here that had very offensive names. One of them that was the worst was Rayquaza, so I'm going to search this up and see if it's still bad on the final day. Also, some of the text might be weird, like how it says none right here. That's because I'm using a cheat that'll make it so I don't freeze on the GTS. That was a huge issue that is still occurring to this day. So let's see. All these Pokemon look pretty good, normal so far. This guy just wants a Zigzagoon. I mean, that's pretty generous. Oh, a lot of entries for Zigzagoon. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'd rather see a ton of this, these generated hack Pokemon, than the ones with the offensive names. I'm doing the finger sensor method right now, so I don't have to blur this out later. But all these trainer icons are the same. That's just because this is the same duplicated Pokemon over and over and over. Anyway, I'm now disconnected from the internet and reconnecting because I actually just played for over 30 minutes and online still works. I was originally told that it would shut down at 4 p.m. PST, but it is now nearly 440. And as you can see, I still connected. Earlier, I put a shiny Delphox in here, just hoping someone would do the trade, but it looks like people aren't really searching for Delphox because it's still in here. I'm practically giving it away. All I want is a Wurmple, which you can get on Route 1 in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Anyway, who cares? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep playing and I'll make a cut when we're close to the server shutdown. I think it'll be at 5 p.m. So we'll be back soon. Checking the GTS's status. Come on. The Pokemon you deposited was traded. Hey, there we go. We actually completed it. We got a Wurmple. Let's see. There we go. Blank came from the GTS. Yeah, the names are all buggy. It is now 5.01 p.m. Meaning the servers should be down by now, but we're still going. Ooh, a Deancey. What the heck? We just got given a Deancey in the Wonder Trade. That's actually the first really good Pokemon I've gotten this entire time. I'm glad I got that on camera. I wonder if this is people just giving out everything remaining on their save file, kind of like what I'm doing, or if it was generated into the game. It doesn't really matter, though. Oh, is that it? Communication failed. That might be it, guys. I think the servers just shut down. Oh my gosh. Uh, honestly, oh, I think I am. No, wait, I'm still online. Is it okay to disconnect from the internet? Huh? That's weird. Well, I'm definitely not going to try to disconnect and then come back. No way I'm doing that. Let me see. I guess I'll click yes and I'll try to search for someone here on Wonder Trade again. That was really weird, though. I was only searching for just a couple seconds and I got booted out. It wasn't like a custom message or anything saying, like, you know, servers have closed for good, which I didn't really expect it to be like that, but I don't know. Okay, I'm still finding people <sighs> that made my heart skip like 10 beats uh, i guess we're still here i don't know how but we're now approaching close to 5 30 p.m nearly a half hour after they said the shutdown would happen 
Whoa, shiny Rayquaza, no way. At this point, I've almost given out the full box of 30 shinies that was on the save file, so I'm almost out. Yo, sorry to interrupt, but this was the point where my phone hit maximum storage, so a lot of footage was scrapped right here. You'll be able to tell because the lighting in my room gets much darker here. All right, guys, quick little update. It is currently 6.33 p.m. My 3DS date is all wrong, and I've been recording for over an hour and a half. I honestly don't know how much longer I could do this. I don't have many more shinies left on the save file in this box. I really have no idea when I'm going to get booted off of this server. Nearly every person I pair up with this point has something like 3DS online and then a salute sign or something like that. You know, people just saying farewell. That's nearly every type of person that I'm still pairing up to at this point because I actually looked online. I think they have definitely booted servers off by now. The only people like me who are still playing are people who just happen to already be playing and already be connected. Because of that, the pool of people playing right now is a lot smaller than it normally would be. I keep finding the same train over and over again. Alright guys, I hope you can understand, but I've been playing for around five, yes, five hours, and I simply cannot do it anymore. I still have things I need to do and get done before this day ends, and I'm still connected to the internet, over three hours past the shutdown time. The reason is because they closed off the servers for new people that were already offline and hadn't connected yet, but if you were still playing, then you're still online. I got this shiny Rayquaza earlier from someone named Nick, who helps run the servers for the Pokey Classic Network. I made a video about that in the past, it's for the Gen 4 and 5 servers that still work in the modern day, and this is going to be my final final wonder trade. I was going to wait until the servers just disconnected on their own, but I think this is the perfect farewell goodbye 3DS. Yeah, like I was saying, I would have loved for this to just boot me out and disconnect me, but I simply have things to do. It's very late into the day, and let's just see what I get for the final trade. Oh, Wormpool, how fitting. Oh my gosh, the final trade is a Wormpool, so what I'm gonna do right now, right here, is click on yes to disconnect from the internet. Boom, successfully disconnected, and if I'm right, I'm pretty sure now, if I try to reconnect, it is not going to let me. I would be shocked if it actually worked and let me get back on. Let's see. Connecting to the internet and the server is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later. There we go. I really do wish I could have been playing up to the final moment where they do turn these servers off, but there's literally no way to know. It could have been days and days before it actually shut down. And I was right. It took over 24 hours for Nintendo to actually shut down features like Wonder Trading if you were already connected to the internet. Internet. I hope you guys can understand. There's just no way I could have sat there for over a day straight waiting for servers to shut down. It just was not realistic for me. <laughs> it's honestly not realistic for anyone, but some people did leave their DSs on, so props to you guys. It kind of sucks, but that's the end of online for the Pokemon 3DS games, for now at least. The group Pretendo is still working at bringing back these servers for games so you can play online in 2024 again. When that is all done, I'll be making a video for you guys so you can connect online and keep playing these games on the internet. I can't wait.